thanks again for watching my channel. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. I've hit the 1K on my subscribers. Um, so, really appreciate it. Uh, today's video, I'm just gonna explain a little bit about uh, Sac River um, water temp and uh, kind of what's biting out there. Um, so, first off, the water temperature has dropped drastically. Um, over like 12 degrees, the water has dropped and it's still dropping. So, uh, that makes the, the fish um, kind of takes a while to acclimate to the temperature. So, um, until that water gets really steady, um, obviously a lot colder than it has been, it's got to steady out for a little bit and then um, then the fish bite should be uh, a lot better. Uh, but right now, you'll still be catching stripers and stuff, but it's pretty slow just because that water temperature has dropped so fast. Um, it pretty much went from uh, it pretty much went from summer to winter uh, like overnight so um, they are catching sturgeon also um, they're running up around the Sassoon area I've heard of one car uh, Knights Landing area um, so the sturgeon are starting to run in uh, the system also um, so if you're wanting to catch some striper uh, your best bet is nighttime is super good um, I would uh, definitely wet some bait throw it in the water and uh, try your lures guys um, I love the the worm lure um, I'll show you guys here in a second um, what that looks like uh, just Texas style and those kill the striper um, just your swim baits uh, rebels jerk baits just try a variety of things um, and also try your bait too some sardines or some uh, night crawlers and uh, go at night time that's when they're really doing uh, doing good. But uh, yeah, like I said, this water has changed dramatically and uh, they're not quite acclimated um, to the temperature yet. So the bite's kind of really hit and miss right now um, until this water steadies out, um, which it is. But I'll show you guys um, the temperatures here and uh, how much it's actually changed. Um, it's it's quite a few degrees probably around 12 degrees or so the temperatures dropped in just a week or so so yeah just uh, stay out there and uh, good luck to you guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one way to change lures on a fly with a single pull if you ain't got multiple poles and you want to change them real quick put yourself a snap swivel and then if you need a little bullet weight for that just like that and then you get through all your swim baits or if you want to put a hook on get your single hook throw it on there like that just like that there all right so there's my setup right there you got the bullet weight and slip with a snap swivel that way I could change my hook to whatever I want, different hook or another uh, lure or something like that on the fly. They usually only come out with one pole, so uh, that's how I do it there. And then uh, when I like to cast it out, I like to cast, depending on which way you're standing on the water on the bank, if the river's going to the right, go ahead and cast it just to the left. That way your lure will kind of drift along as you're reeling it in and when then you reel it in you're going to be reeling it in kind of upstream near the near the uh, bank so something like this have your line out about 12 to 10 inches like that and then kind of just give it a cast just like that a little bit up and then let her sink a little bit and you can feel it too guys, especially with this bullet weight with this Texas rig on here. You can feel it hitting the bottom. And that's where you want to be. And then you tip down when it's far out and just reel it in nice and easy. And the more and more you do this, the more you'll get the feel of it. So just keep practicing and you will get better. And as it gets closer, you could uh 
either reel it in a little bit faster or pull your tip up either one but you'll you'll definitely start to get the feel of how fast to reel it in and uh, the feel of the bottom and stuff just like that Let it sink. Give it a little time to sink. Just depend on how much weight you got on there. And just kind of reel it nice and easy. You want to have that tip down at the beginning. You want it to get real low. Some spots in the river, it's around 30 feet deep. So I know right here it's around 27, 28 normally. And just go nice and easy. And uh, I'm using a, a real dark speckled uh, black um, worm. And uh, this is one of my favorite favorite lures for, uh, or synthetics for uh, catching bass. Easy to use, they're really cheap. And they work great. Just like that. So also, um, you can cast pretty much any any way on the river, any side, anywhere from the bank. Um, you just got to really play with it and um, see how slow or faster you need to reel it in. Um, just like this, the river's going to my right here, and uh, say you want to throw way up, you know, river, kind of near the bank. Um, this is how you do that. Cast it up there. See that's not too far out from the bank. And this you want to keep up with your with your line. Don't let your line slack in front of you. Keep that slack out of your line. Or else if you let that slack too much, um, then it's going to hit the bottom too much um, and possibly snag up on branches or, or whatever down there. So, uh... Oh, just got a bite right there. So this way, um, lost them though. <laughs> Probably just a little bass. But this way, when it's going down, down the current like that, with the current, you want to reel it a little bit faster um, than say, I throw it this way and I'm going up against the current like this. You could definitely reel it a little bit slower um, but I'll tell you what, if you, uh, you have much more of a chance of casting up river and reeling it with the flow of the river. Um, I say that just because, um, they, the fish will have more time, um, instead of reeling it against the fish, it's kind of going more with the flow, um, and it could possibly get it in front of more, um, more fish. So that's the way I like to cast is kind of more this way. Up, up river. And then as you're reeling it, you're reeling it back towards you down river. And uh, I think that's the best. The river works with you also. You could definitely slow it down. Remember, it's going to be real close. It's only about 10 feet out in front of me. Nice and easy. And remember, right now is a real tough bite for striper. 
Um, just let this weather kind of cool down and kind of steady out. Um, just because it's been so drastic so quickly. The bite will get much, much better. Come outside, slide it all the way down and give it a twist, and then measure about where the hook's going to go through, and give it a little slack, like that, about right there, slide your hook through. I like to make it so the hook is completely sunk inside, just like that there, and then you got your weight. Everything set up ready to go and you could change that puppy on a fly if needed and also this is my favorite Rig right here guys for catching any size striper um, Big small whatever it is um, This worm's got a lot of action uh, Check in the descriptions. I will have uh, Where I get this worm and trust me guys. They are super cheap and they work good. All right, so you got about 10 to 12 inches out like that. And 12 o'clock is straight. Three o'clock just to the right upstream. I'm gonna cast it. Just like that there. Let your line sink. See that? See it's still wanting to sink. Let it go down. All right, it's about good. You wanna watch your line now. Your line tighten up, give it reel in a little bit, and watch your line drift down the river, guys. You want it to go down all the way in front of you to your left, all the way to about nine o'clock. Remember, you're facing the river, the clock in front of you is 12 o'clock straight ahead. It's nice and slow. See my line, guys? See how it's just drifting down? I can feel it hitting the bottom a little bit. That's exactly where I want to be. You guys trapper fishing? Uh, just bass. Oh, just bass? Yeah. Right on. Any luck? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? No, I'm going for striper. Nothing yet. Yeah, I just they were running pretty good. I know. Yeah, I might be a little early right here, but just testing the waters. Thank you. What 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 pound about you guys your best? Uh, three, ten. Nice. Three ten. Nice, nice. Do you guys compete at all on bass tournaments? Which one was that? Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. You got to start somewhere. Good luck, guys. Thank you.